our teams, we had to work with the Weatherby lab to right. identify all the cases and um, which were agreed mm. to be reworked. I think the FSS would probably have looked at all the times they used LCN, this technique, but they, but I bet they used it all it was, the time. It was, I think most of them were sexual assault. There was a lot of yeah. sexual assaults and rapes. And, and see which gave negatives. Yeah. Way so, more. so is it the case that um, they, no one would have been wrongly convicted, but... The evidence may be missed. But, but, but you may not have convicted anyone. Yeah, yeah. because the, so, the, so the DNA so profile no, wasn't lifted. So there's no one innocent no. suffering from I it. Yeah. Could, I, don't, I can't see how that would No, so, so it's just basically... Yeah. 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 Hooks, who obviously could have gone on to do other crimes. Yeah. Mm. Other crimes. Yeah. And then, they, after that, they had a Home Office, an independent Home Office inquiry... Um, and so I had, uh, you know, I'd agreed that we'd go and help with that, obviously. And so it was me and there was the, um, the uh, senior, the lead scientist and a couple of her assistants um, all had to go and give evidence at this thing. And it was an absolute travesty, honestly. I've never been more angry in my life. <laughs> it was the, um, you had the... The lawyer who was leading it, who was, you know, pretty useless. It was a, a good friend of mine, actually, a professor from Strathclyde University, who was, who had been called in for lots of these government reviews in the past, you know, from the Birmingham Six and the ball, that sort of thing, the um, explosives and so on. So he came and he acted as scientific advisor. And he was reasonable, but didn't really get that operational mm-hmm. forensics, like, you know, but he wasn't bad. Um, and then, on the other side, you had the person in charge of operations for the Forensic Science Service, and you had a team, a legal team, their legal team, so there were about three lawyers there. And it was quite extraordinary. You would think that it was us who missed the, mm-hmm. missed the evidence from trial. the FSS. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. It was very unpleasant. I nearly lost one of my best um, examiners because she'd been so horrified at the whole experience. She was at an absolute bit, so I'm glad to say she did stay and calm down. Um, and I found it extremely difficult because they, right from the start, these people painted me as the, the villain who tells the scientists what to do. Um, and they were saying to these, you know, saying to, not to the senior scientists, but saying to the other two, you know, well, you know, you, you do what Angela Gallup tells you, don't you? You, uh, you know, and it was just, it was like that. It was absolutely awful. Um, and of course, if I had said, it was so difficult, I had to sit there biting my tongue, because if I'd said anything, I would have looked like I did. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> it was quite clever, really. But I was so angry about it. And we had a, we brought our lawyer, our firm's lawyer, just in case it was any nonsense, um, and she sat in, she didn't say a word, so she didn't help me. Do you remember mm-hmm. Maxine? She didn't, she didn't come in and say, oh, well, you know, well, you know whatever, anything, sort of something legal that, mm-hmm. you know, that might have been useful, some legal point, but absolutely nothing. She just sat there and I couldn't do it. And I was longing to say, well, absolutely not true, we, you know, this is how we work, but just the more I would have prote- protested my mm-hmm. innocence of that, the worse it would have got. Mm-hmm. I could see that. They were really clever. So I was bloody furious. But that was the FSS all over. It really was. They were absolutely... It was. It got to be really horrible and really political. Mm. And we'd been so careful not to blame anybody um, and just say everybody can make a mistake. Everybody can... It's a bit like Dan and Ola Taylor. Everybody can miss things. And, mm. But it really was truly horrible. What was missed in... Oh, sorry, the I have just described something completely... I've just described... Dam- it was Damalola Taylor, we had the, that. The same thing, but they missed blood in this case, not the floor. It was Operation Cube in Rachel McCarthy. So that does not apply, what I've just said, but does not apply to Rachel McCarthy. It was Damalola Taylor. Just the, the, the Cube? Yeah. Operation it Cube came after... So, no, Operation Cube is fine. That's all Rachel McCarthy. Okay. And the bit yeah. that isn't? It was just the bit that isn't is the independent review. That right. was done with Taylor. So, what was missed on him? Blood. Um, <clears throat> it was... We were looking there. We were just going through um, some of the stuff that had been, you know, collected in the early days. And... Um, and Two, there were two people who were arrested. It's got quite a history, this case.